Chapter 3, Section 1, Solving Systems of Two Linear Equations for Graphing. And so, what we're going to start is solve this system of equations by graphing. So, first off, we have to graph each of these lines. So, we got to remember how to graph them. So, I'm going to start with this first one. get our y by itself and so now remember that means the y-intercept is 4 and our slope is negative 2 or negative 2 over 1 so down 2 over 1 we'd have our line right there So we've got that graph. Now let's look at the second one. We've got x minus 3y equals negative 5. Subtract our x over. Divide by our negative 3. But remember, 5 thirds is the same as 1 and 2 thirds. And so now we're going to graph that by going up 1 and 2 thirds. And then up 1 over 3. Now we've got our two lines graphed, and when we solve these systems, what that mean it means is we have to figure out where they intersect. What point do these two graphs have in common? If you notice, they have that point in common because that's where they intersect. And so our solution is that point, one, two. And we do want to check this to make sure that this is our solution. And so to check this, what we need to do is just plug this point into both equations and make sure it works. So 2 times 1 plus 2 equals 4. And let's check. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 2, so 4 equals 4. Check it into the other one. 1 minus 3 times 2 equals negative 5. 1 minus 6, negative 5 so this is our answer. So once again, we're going to solve this system by graphing. So let's look at this first equation and solve for y. Notice the second line is already in our y-intercept form, slope-intercept. So our y-intercept here is negative 3, and our slope is up to over 3 again. So once we have our two lines, remember the question before was where do they intersect? Well, in this case, they don't intersect. There is no intersection. So this is no solution. They don't intersect. Also notice they've got the same slope, which means they're parallel. And so notice that these lines are parallel. So to solve this one by graphing, 
Let's get them both set equal to y so we can graph them easier. So looking at this first one, if we subtract over the 2x, we'll have negative y equals 4 minus our 2x. Divide everything by negative 1. So if we graph that, Start here and go up 2 over 1. Now if we look at this second one and solve for y, we'll have x minus 2 equals 1 half y. If we multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of our fraction, we'll have 2x minus 4 equals y. Notice that these are the same thing, and when we graph them, it'll actually end up being that same line. They're on the same line. So what this means is there are infinitely many solutions, but we need to write our answer so that we can get our generic solutions. So for any x that we use, we now need to have some thing here with an x in it and without a y. And since our y equals this 2x minus 4, that's our solution. The reason being because no matter what x you decide you want to plug in here, you'll use that same x on this side and every ordered pair you get will be on this green line.